Hi, my name is Robert Steltman. Today I'm going to show you some neat tools we've been developing uh, involving reactors. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put blocks at all the lock corners. These will be AECC Kogo points. And we're going to pick that one and we're going to tell it original ground surface and we're going to select one polyline. So we've uh, place blocks at all the lock corners. It's showing the existing elevation in the descriptor and it's showing proposed elevation in the elevation portion of it. One of the things we've done is if you decide to move your point somewhere, the uh, descriptor elevation updates. Next we're going to do lock corner delta. We're going to set all the lock fronts based on our road design. Okay, so it's going to find all blocks 15 meters each side of center line, everything inside the magenta line. And we're going to set each side 0.2 higher than the uh, road profile. Now, here this lot between 2 and 3 is set at 180.6. We're going to adjust the profile in Civil 3D, and we're going to give it a much more uh, opposite. We're going to go from a cut to a fill. And now we'll check that elevation. And now it's reflecting the change in our profile. These blocks have updated automatically. Okay, we're going to use the gray tool. And we're going to set this point as our catch basin. And we're going to set 2% grade on all of these other points. So we're going to just tell it to hold the grade. And we want it to go up at 2%. I'm going to select a number of points around there, all at 2% and we're going to have it labeled the grade and then we're going to adjust the elevation of the catch basin and then all the other ones will upgrade as well. Now using the edit capability we're going to select our catch basin. We're going to change it to elevation 100 and once we hit enter all of the uh, elevations that we set with that have updated. Just an indication of where we're going with our uh, points and civil 3D. If you have any questions, give me a call.